If you remember in last video, I have discussed the similarities between the male and female reproductive system. Continuing the same topic, today I will be discussing the differences between the male and female reproductive system. The difference between the male and female reproductive systems are largely based on the structure, location, function of each individual's role in the reproduction cycle. But wait, 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 let me start the session first. So guys, once again, welcome back to this amazing platform. And in today's video, I will tell you the difference between the male and female reproductive system. The major difference is one. So let's start the session. However, for your convenience, I have designed a table to illustrate the differences between male and female reproductive system. So first of all, we will see the definition. So when we talk about the male reproductive system, that is male reproductive organ designed to produce sperms and transfer it to the female reproductive organ to get fertilized and produce the new one of its kind. But when we talk about the female reproductive system, when we look towards its definition, in fact, the female reproductive organ are designed to produce ovum or eggs and when get fused with the male gamete or sperms, produces the young ones and nurture it till the full growth before the birth. Now the second important point, that is the location. Okay, so when we talk about the location for the male reproductive system, then it is located around the pelvis region, but outside the body so that it can maintain the temperature required by the sperm to stay healthy. And when we talk about the female reproductive system, it is located entirely inside the body with entry and exit points at the vulva and separate openings for urination and menstruation. The third one is the production of hormones. So when we talk about the male one, they secrete androgens and testosterone. And in the case of female, they secrete progesterones and estrogens. Now the important part come, that is the function. Yes, in the case of male, they produce sperms, provides sperm to the ovum for fertilization. While in the case of female, the list is little big. So they produce the ovum, receive and fertilize the male sperm. Then after support the development of the growing embryo. And the last one is to provide nourishment. That is the major part. To provide nourishment to the infants by secreting milk through memory glands. Now the next part is that important organs which are involved in this complete reproductive system. So when we talk about the male, that is penis, seminal vesicles, vast difference, prostate gland, corpus gland and scrotum, that is testis. And when we talk about the female, here you can see the image too, that is vulva, vagina, clitoris, urethra, hymen, perineum, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, mammary gland, so many. Besides, a man who is healthy and sexually mature continuously produces a sperm. However, on the other hand, the development of woman's egg is arrested during the fatal development. This means she is born with predetermined number of oocytes and cannot produce new ones. Now you might be thinking that what is oocyte, right? Okay, so oocyte is a cell in an ovary, here you can see which may undergo meiotic division to form an ovum. Interesting? Okay. Likewise, this is all about the major differences between the male and female reproductive system. Hope you guys are now pretty much clear with all these terms and functions. However, if any confusion or questions in your mind, you may ask through the comment box given below. See you soon in my next video. Till then, just stay tuned with me. Bye-bye.